Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in a Miller Time segment tonight. Very busy week for the Sage of Southern California, which is why he's joining us on Monday instead of Wednesday. Let's bring him in from Santa Barbara. So I think you agree with me, Miller. This whole Petraeus thing hurts the country, right? Country's hurt in a lot of ways right now, Billy. I don't think this is the worst way. At least these women are hot. You know what I mean? When I watched Charles cheat on Diana for Camilla Parker Bowles, I remember sitting home going, you're kidding me, huge ears, small eyes. What happened to that guy? People like sex, they're always going to bonk. And when Petraeus said he was leading the surge, I guess he was leading the surge, wasn't well, he? Okay, but in a, a broader context, we lose... No. no. Not for me. That's it. Uh, I think powerful men have always bunked or, uh, you know, ran around. Kay Summersby and Tina Turner both were Ike's lovers. And, no, uh, but that was a different Ike. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just yeah. heard Ike. Tina was the Ike, Ike Turner, the uh, singer. And no, I don't think this is a big ticket item right now, except that it was the, he was the head spook and he had to get out because he could be leveraged. If you go one notch, two notches up and you're the president, yeah, you can screw around capriciously. But this guy could still be leveraged, so he can't be head spook anymore. But do I think it indicates anything deeper about the already desultory state of contemporary America? No, it doesn't. Do you believe, doesn't. Do you believe <laughs> that the military code of justice, which is why he had to get out, because... As you pointed out, civilians get away with this. I mean, they're, they're tarnished. It's not like France when you fool around. They like you. You get more votes there. Uh, if you, and in fact, in France, if you're a powerful man, you don't have a mistress, they think you're gay. All right, so that, that's like accepted there. But here, um, it's a different situation. It's a different society. No, he's a civilian now. Unless I, unless I don't understand it, that he no, maintained he still, his generalship? No, no, he, I thought he was retired. He, 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 but you're still in the military code of justice and because he is a general. He's called general. He's got all his stuff, and he, and that's why he had to go. Uh, no, I and, thought he was called. I just got to get this point straight. I thought he was retired General David Petraeus, now civilian head of the CIA, and that's a very important thing. I might have it completely no, wrong. No, no, you're absolutely but if he right. He was a civilian. That isn't why he went on his sword because of the military code of justice. He went on his sword because he knows every secret in the world. And bad guys could leverage him. That's why he had to go, I think, but I might be wrong. No, but he cited the fact that the military code, which he adheres to, even though he's retired. Look, when these guys are retired, they still maintain general, colonel, and all of this business. But, and if you're in a position of power, you're held to a higher standard. All right. So I, I, I just didn't see it that way. I thought he was retired general. I'm, I'm not trying to disagree with that. I just no, think no. there's two different things. He is a retired things. general, but he held himself to a higher standard. He didn't fight it. He held well, himself. He, to a he held himself to a much higher standard. He would have been Bill Clinton. All right. <laughs> Let's segue into Chicago. It's not an easy segue. Rahm Emanuel is the mayor there, as you know, and he's he's going to ban vending machines that sell stuff that he doesn't like. It's almost like Bloomberg here in New York. You know, garbage food, sodas, and all that. He's going to replace them with healthy vending machines. Meantime, the Chicago murder rate is, uh, you know, going out of the park. And you say? Well, listen, uh, you can still buy a vote in a machine in Chicago, can't you? Yes. As long as that's still in machine town. voting, right. sure. Listen, you know what? Uh, low cow in Chicago is only two pieces of bacon wrapped around something. So I don't know that this is the end of the world, but I would point out that this is what the Woodstock generation, don't tell us anything about anything. We don't trust the man. I just hope that everybody out there recognizes that they have become Orwell's big brother. They want to be involved in every single asset. Their parents who drove them to become dropouts were never this intrusive as they are now that figuratively they are the parent in the biggest of all governments. The stuff they worry about on a day-to-day -day basis is absolutely insane. Chicks in lingerie and headdresses, what's in the snack thing. This is the only reason that Obama can't jump in and save Twinkie and do that PR thing is Michelle's out there telling everybody they can't even have a burger anymore. They're involved in every aspect. It's, it's saddening to see what this country has rolled over for. Well, the left certainly wants to control the way we live. There's no doubt about it. And every aspect, I would contend. Yeah. Now, the Twinkie deal, uh, Hostess says they might be able to survive now. So now that they cause all the controversy about 
ho-hos, wingdings, uh, you know, th and this is poison, you know, this is, this is heroin uh, they're selling, right, Miller? Well, listen, uh, if Americans are now going to go offshore to procure illicit ho-hos, it won't be the first time. <laughs> You're in smuggling. History. I can see that a big smuggling train from um, Cuba. They have lots of sugar yeah. there. You know, they get smuggling in. The it's Coast Guard's uh, trying to stop it. <laughs> now I don't know where they're going to smuggle them because the Twinkies rather soft. But I do know this: it, between Corolla and I, if I saw the pictures of the, the Victoria's Secret, you see what's coming down the road in this. Now, I do a humor segment on here, and I know you and I have a good time together, but I know you and your listeners see what's coming here. The guys who are ostensibly the most caring and the most liberal are now involved in, what is this, five or six topics in a row where you shake your head and you think, my God, they're going to turn Benghazi into another Watergate, except this time it's not Nixon. It's their guy, and they're never going to dig on it. That stuff's all going to go under. But they're going to worry about this minutiae ad nauseum, and I think it's a bad turn for the United States. It is, and you make an interesting point, is that now we're, we are becoming a nation, not only of a nanny state with the financial business, okay, so we'll get you through life, cradle to grave, but you better eat and drink what we want you to, because that comes along with it. We'll give you this stuff, all right, but you better do what we tell you to do. Last well, word. Listen, I got I, I to gotta laugh at it now because pretty soon they're going to tell you not to laugh at it. Let's put it that way. Yep, pretty soon it's going to be if you, if you eat the Twinkie, cuffs. Cuffs, Miller. By the way, if you want to smuggle Twinkies, don't call me. I don't even want to think about it. All right. <clears throat>